Welcome, everybody. It is uh, our release party after a um, interesting release. Um, we, we got it out the door, everyone. Uh, and it's really nice and solid, and we're getting a lot of praise. So congratulations, first of all. Thank you, everybody, for all the work you've put into Fedora Linux 39 and all of its different components. And like, oh, fireworks, nice. Um, and yeah, everything into Fedora you know, over this whole last 20 years. So it's amazing. Uh, thank you again. That's a, uh, shall we get started with, with, with the program, Justin? Right. We shall. Let me go ahead and go for the share screen. There we go. Is it all visible and clear? It is. All right. Welcome to the party. <laughs> Got all dances and everything. Yes. That that was a cool one from Emma. <laughs> so a quick introduction of your hosts for uh, today and tomorrow. I'll pass it to Matthew first. Hi, it's me. Uh, I am Matthew. I am the Fedora project leader. I've done this for almost a decade now. Um, before that, I worked at a couple universities on various things, all all Linux all the time. I've been running Fedora, uh, uh, Fedora Workstation, I think, since, uh, since Fedora... Uh, like since 20. And then before that, I was running mostly a, a XFCE. And then uh, I have before that Window Maker. But uh, I think it's been my exclusive uh, operating system since like 2000 and, uh, 2006, I think. So I've been using it for, for quite a while. Um, I've been part of the project since before I started at Red Hat. Um, and I'm really glad to see a lot of familiar faces from way back and also new people here it is always um I, it's it's nice to see the project thriving uh, and um just growing uh, even after all this time that's all about me uh yay Aoife. thanks matthew yeah i'm gonna paste in how you say my name phonetically into the chat but i kind of answered most things so <laughs> like, it's not a problem if if um, if you if you mix mix it up, but yeah. Um, Am I saying it close to right? Yeah, no, you're spot on. Okay, <laughs> Man, we've known you for a while, so yes. I <laughs> that, like like you're actually now my manager too, so I would expect you of all people to get yeah. my name right. Right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I I'm Ethan Maloney. I have the privilege of joining the Fedora project as the operations architect. I'm in their old just shy of three weeks now or so. It feels like a lifetime because I've always felt very at home with the Fedora project, um, but it's also very interesting to see kind of the, the inner workings of the project too. Um, you can see it anyway. There's no, there's no <laughs> behind the curtain really, <laughs> but it's it's cool to see how a, an open source project actually conducts itself um, and be paid to be a part of that is sweet. Um, so I joined the, I'm actually, I have a slightly different way into the Fedora project than Justin and Matthew. I threw Fedora from Red Hat. So I'm usually, we see a lot of people coming from the outside in, uh, but I'm actually kind of coming from the inside out instead, <laughs> uh, which is, which is interesting. Um, yeah, I've, when I joined Red Hat, I was the, the, uh, the Watford office coordinator. And then I joined the community platform engineering team as just a bits and bobs of, of, of everything. Uh, somebody who needed to help organize things. Apparently I am organized. Um, but that's when I got to know the Fedora project and I have loved it ever since. And I, like I said, I'm just delighted to actually be now working full time in the project alongside some excellent folks. I, so I think we need, to, we need to have the airport part in, in your bio oh, it's so yeah. so relevant <laughs> if you saw this airport it's like a garage it's tiny <laughs> but the stories but i do have a session tomorrow of the meet the operations architect the spoiler it's going to be a bit of an ask me anything a bit of a chat this session so like feel free to to stop by if you're available tomorrow yes i will make sure to 
get some airport <laughs> stories out of that. <laughs> I've been mean, plenty of airport ones, plenty of horse ones. Anyway, good to be here. You're very welcome here. And I'm Justin. I'm the community architect with the Fedora Project. I've been around in the Fedora community since 20, 2015, I guess, so a little bit over eight years. And it's also been cool, even though I've been around half of that 20-year-ish, half-ish of that 20-year time, it's also been cool just to see how how the community is always growing and evolving and changing over the t over all this time. And uh, it's really an honor to to be here and be a part of the Fedora community as we celebrate this pretty major milestone here after after 20 years. Um, seeing all the stories that have come in for Fedora Appreciation Week, which if you haven't checked that out on the community blog, you should definitely go and take a look at the, the series we've been running all week with uh, contributor stories and photos from across the 20 year history that folks have been sharing on Fedora discussion. Um, it's been really awesome to see all of those stories come in and helps remind me about all those important things about why we do what we do and why we come together and celebrate at like this as, as a community. So I'm happy to be one of your hosts for, for this week. So before we get too far into the announcements, we'll start with the important things first. I know many of you are probably ready for the badge. So we have the uh, special edition release party and 20th anniversary Fedora badge, which you can claim using the QR code, or you can also find it on the reception page of Hopin as well. Uh, but definitely don't miss out on claiming that special edition uh, version of the badge. Uh, thanks to Chris, Marie, and Sandro for uh, wrangling the logistics for getting the badge out. Apparently, also... I, I am in the top 10 of badges now for the first time ever, which I'm very proud of. Um, but I think there was someone who's like one badge behind me. So I'm going to quick get this to make sure I don't get displaced. <laughs> you can also find the schedule for today. It's also on the Hopin reception. You should be able to find it there. But you can also find a wikiified version of it on the Fedora wiki if that is easier for you to read. You can also find the UTC and US Eastern uh, time zones for all of our sessions there today. And lastly, uh, we also have a code of conduct uh, for all of our virtual and in-person events. You can find it here um, and uh, open up for the full code of conduct. Also wanted to slip in some special thanks for some folks who did some awesome work to help wrangle the event together. Uh, Emma Kidney on all the design and graphics and images that you're seeing around the release party, around Hopin. Uh, she was a big part of all of that. Aoife for being one of the hosts, but also helping wrangle a lot of the sessions for all of the speakers and folks who are doing topics here. Uh, shout out to our, our Mark, <laughs> I see Damar's message in the chat. Shout out to our marketing team, Joseph and Damar, who have also been helping promote this content for the release party and appreciation week all week, uh, as, well as, as well as some of our other folks there as well on the other channels. And lastly, a uh, big thanks to all of our amazing lineup of speakers and organizers of our social activities that we have today and tomorrow. Oh, I want to make a plug here too, which is this is community driven, as you see. Uh, I think we would like to have more people involved in the, the release parties. So if this is something that's kind of interesting to you, if you're having fun here, you're like, hey, I could help. Um, this is a easy way to get more involved in working in the project. Um, you'd be incredibly welcome. Talk to Aoife, Justin, me, um, and we'll, we'll get you hooked up. So on that topic of socials, uh, we will have the hallway track going all week, but we'll also have a special session tomorrow on Saturday for an Among Us round. Uh, so that'll be hosted by the Fedora Pride uh, community, and you can get some of the details for how to install. Uh, if you, you can, you can get it for free on mobile, on Android or iOS, or you can use uh, Steam, and you can also play it on Linux there as well. More instructions you can find on the QR code. It'll take you to a wiki page with more instructions. I, I won't. Mind. Go ahead. I won't be there because I can't handle betrayal. Just too much. 
yeah, so I definitely hope to see some other folks, if not Matthew in the in the ship. Uh, definitely hope to see. <laughs> I'll be around. I just, um, you know, <laughs> I'll watch. So a big thanks to uh, our our Fedora Pride folks for helping organize and wrangle that social tomorrow. Now on to the announcements, uh, key updates, things that are happening around in the community. Matthew, you want to start? Yeah. Uh we Aoife already introduced herself we're doing this a little bit out of, out of order but i do want to give her a special welcome into this new role as operations architect basically the job is to help keep all of our organizational stuff actually organized um i have some strengths as a fedora project leader as i guess all those badges is, you know, i do some stuff uh, but keeping everything organized is not one of them so we're looking very much forward to having Aoife help us make everything you know, go like clockwork and things that are not working as smoothly as they could. Uh, it's her job to make them better. So uh, I'm looking forward to a lot of a uh, lot of exciting things in the next few years here. Thank you, Aoife, for joining us. And um, I'm really glad yeah. to have you here. Thank you again. And please send me feedback, whatever. I'm, I'm an open book. I can take it. So I'm, I'm yeah. here for the good and the bad. I, so let me tell this story, which is the <laughs> thing that really impressed me about Aoife. When I met her before as part of her job at CPE, but um, we had a Fedora Council meeting in, in Brno. And this was there were some things were not going so great between the project and CPE. And Aoife came in to give a little presentation about stuff in CPE, but had kind of no idea what um, upset people were under the under the I don't know. Context is everything. Skin, right. So. Yeah. Um, and so she came in for a uh, friendly little presentation and we came in to give her what for um, <laughs> and really just uh, it wasn't intentional at all. But we I think we were all pre pretty like a lot of like questions and anger and things. And uh, if I handle that with and such grace it. and, uh, you know, we, we probably could have been a little more gentle from the Fedora side, but there was a lot. There was a lot, and that really uh, both uh, handled that so well, and then really helped improve the relationship and made everything, you know, help help build bridges up and make things be a lot better. And I think we've that's a lot of why we've got a great re functional relationship with CPE <laughs> today. So uh, um, thank you yeah. very much for that. And yeah, she can Sorry. take it. I can. Sorry for swearing, but my F my <laughs> class is like the world is full of enough dickheads. There is really no need for us to be like that to each other. Sorry. Yeah, excellent. Oh, yeah, this is this is for me too here. Um, so in Fedora, um, although some of us have the privilege of being paid full time on this, that is amazing. Uh, we also uh, want to make sure this stays a community run project. It is not something where uh, just red headers get to make all of the decisions. And so to do that, we've got a community leadership structure, which includes some positions which different teams in the community nominate someone as you know some people who are active working in a particular area and then we also have a lot of positions which are elected from the community at large anybody can run and anybody can be elected as long as you're an active fedora contributor um, and so we have three bodies that have elections open on monday one of them is fesco the fedora engineering steering committee and as the name kind of suggest that steers technical decisions. One of the biggest things is when there are changes, people have probably seen the change announcements going by, like when those happen, FESCO looks at community input, looks at the technical thing and weighs whether that's something we should do or shouldn't do. Uh, so that's a very important role. And we've had some big uh, controversial things coming up and I'm sure they're in the past. Um, your voice there is really important. Please make sure that we have good representation on FESCO. Uh, it's not just the change process. There are other technical things that FESCO makes decisions about. And you know, ultimately, uh, a lot of the other engineering teams are connected on our org chart, which we'll see uh, later uh, in, into FESCO. Uh, the other committee is Mindshare, which is in some ways um, the other side of the chart, uh, things that help bring people into the project, help people um, understand what Fedora is, help represent Fedora in different ways. Um, and I, 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 Mindshare is maybe not the best name, but uh, we've 
tried many times to come up with a better name. So that's basically uh, that part of the project. Um, and this team uh, also helps oversee um, budget decisions for a lot of like community travel and community events. If if you need money for something or money, if money could help you do something better for Fedora, Mindshare is the group to talk to. Um, and I, I think we're going to invest some in the council in trying to help Mindshare uh, be more active and functional over the next year. So uh, this is a great time to get involved, especially if you've got some kind of energy for that. It's a really important, important leadership area in the project. And then finally, the Fedora Council, that is our top level governance body and leadership body. And the main role there really is to set and execute on or, or make sure that um, the Fedora strategy. So it's something we've been working on, Strategy 2028, where we want to double the number of contributors who are active every week. How are we going to do that? We're working on it. We could use your help. Um, please run for the council if you have ideas there. Uh, it's both a um, kind of talking about the plan and, and developing that plan, but also uh, people on the council will also serve as executive sponsors for different initiatives and making sure that those are going smoothly uh, in um, actual actual practice rather than just theory so uh please run again run for council if those kind of things are important to you um anything i'm missing here i think you got it all right elections what does this badge go or the, the qr code go to that goes to the uh program management docs for page for the election okay. excellent um yeah slim book um, we have an, a Slimbook, another Slimbook announcement coming up soon, but I don't think it's today, but stay tuned, more Slimbook stuff. This is a small company that makes laptops that um, are you know, made to run with Linux. They have a basic mission of making it easier to get uh, people to get Linux. And they came to us and said, what if we made a Fedora special edition? And we said, awesome, let's do that. And it came out very beautifully. Um, and if you are a Fedora contributor, I believe this is... Um, do, do you remember the threshold for this? I, uh, if you have, I think it's yep. done if you have a certain number of Fedora badges, you qualify for a discount here. So uh, that uh, release party badge is maybe an important step if you haven't collected enough badges yet here. No threshold. Okay, sorry. Uh, you need to have a Fedora project at our email address, which you can get by being an active contributor and being a member of at least one team in the project, I believe. I like the badges idea, though. All right, this this one's, the address is good, too. They're very generous. Oh, yeah, here's a thing. Um, Justin? I think this one is quick, but just an acknowledgement that some of the infrastructure has been a little tricky in the last couple of months. So um, I think it was probably sometime in August or even September now that uh, there was a, so many of us were using a bridge to connect from Libera chat IRC over to Matrix, but for the last month or two, that bridge has been offline uh, on the Matrix end uh, due to some security issues or, um, can't remember the exact context there, but this 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 link will take you to the community blog post that shares more details about that. Uh, we just wanted to acknowledge it that I know it's been painful for a lot of folks, and there's kind of a, a split in some rooms and some teams. But it's something that we're looking at, both monitoring the situation and also trying to find ways to make it easier to navigate the chat universe in Fedora. But just wanted to acknowledge that uh, it's something that we're aware of and we're we're monitoring the situation and hope to have more to share soon. I'm going to be a little stronger than that. We need to, at some point soon, come up with an official, are we going to move everything to Matrix or are we going to keep it split or are we going to do something else? Um, and uh, we, need, we need to pick something. Um, so uh, we... We that's the subtext, be, yeah. yeah. It's just, I, I want to bring the subtext to the top. Also, am I getting like color bars flashing on my video? That's exciting. Um, TV test pattern, excellent. Can I just say before we move off this, I just want to say thank you to um, to Neil, Greg, Ryan Lurch, Kevin. There's folks that are working on um, a bot that will make meetings and is making meetings easier to run in Matrix. Should that be the 
platform of choice too. So thank you. I know there's a lot of people in a Zodbot development chat room working really hard to get that up and running. So yeah, actually, if you like playing with bots, and actually this is um, this is an interesting, easy way to. If you uh, noticed a little bit of programming, um, bots are a fun way to do things that are cool and really can. Um, I don't, make a lot of difference in a project really because of uh, the functionality they can bring. For example, there's a really cool feature where you can give each other cookies. Um, if you see somebody doing something that you like, you can give them a little cookie reaction in, in Matrix and the bot will see that and then count up the cookies and gives you more badges. Uh, so this is a uh, neat little reward system we've got that's all built with badges and are built with bots in Matrix. Um, there was an IRC as well. Um, but uh, this has been a pretty neat project. Uh, neat to see people come together to make all this stuff work for Matrix pretty quickly once the bridge was broken. Uh, so this is another great uh, place people can get more involved and that we already see a lot of I don't know, amazing um, things in the Fedora universe happening. This is a good reminder that if you have not yet added your matrix ID to your Fedora account, now is a good time to do so. So that you can have all the fun with all the cookies and all the bot commands in um, matrix. If you use your Fedora, I am like, if you log into chat.fedoraproject.org, that should be already set. But if you come have a different matrix account you want to use, make sure that's hooked up. Yeah. I think you still have to add it for really. Zonbot. Oh, we should fix um, that. I'm going to go make a file a ticket. <laughs> So other other updates and announcements this week as part of the 20th anniversary, we have been uh, brought back Fedora Appreciation Week from our 15th anniversary. Uh, but this week, it's not too late if you'd like to share a story or photos of other uh, memories in the Fedora community or write an appreciation note for someone else, you can still get in on the fun. We've been running a series on the community blog all week that highlights some of these stories and all the photos that people have been sharing from the last couple of weeks. So do take a look and check out the series. Uh, you'll get a pretty interesting view of, of our past 20 year history. Um, and it's not too late to get in on the fun. So there'll still be two more days until uh, Saturday and Sunday. So check out the QR code for more details on how you can be a part and earn another badge for Appreciation Week. Also want to give a shout out to on October, we had the Fedora design team and the Creative Freedom Summit group run a free Tober art challenge. Uh, so across the month, every day had a different theme. Artists could share uh, their artwork, their daily sketch inspired by uh, each daily prompt. Uh, you can find more details about that and find some of the posts in the uh, discussion thread that this QR code links to. Also a note around the Creative Freedom Summit is the CFP is open right now for the event in January. So if you are doing anything with creative free software tools and you want to share your workflow, your best practices, or just talk about something that's really cool and interesting in the design end of the free software world of tools, make sure you get a submission into the, uh, the CFP before it closes on November 24th. And as was fo foreshadowed earlier about the org chart, this isn't exactly new, new but uh, earlier this year, since our in between since our last release party, our organization chart, which is kind of a big giant map of the Fedora community, got a major update from Marie Norden. Uh, so if you haven't seen that org chart yet, do take a look and check it out. Uh, it's really it was, it was beautiful before, but now it's even more beautiful, and it has a lot more teams and bubbles on there for new and emerging things that have come up in Fedora since it was first created back in, I think, 2021. So do take a look. It's a pretty nice visual, actually, of looking at the Fedora community, because it's like a very bird's eye view, high level map of everything that happens in Fedora. And lastly, it's not too late to invite your friends along, too. So if you have anyone that wants to join in and, and participate in the release party, registration is open. Uh, we'll be here uh, for the rest of today and for tomorrow as well. You can, again, find the full schedule on Hopin or the Fedora Wiki page.
quick note on swag as well. We have uh, a really cool swag vendor based a uh, small vendor in Hungary uh, from Hello Tux. Uh, there is a special Fedora discount. If you use Fedora 5 at checkout, you will get 5% off your order. Uh, but they have some really nice embroidered shirts. Like these are the really nice quality things. You know, they'll survive a few washes. It doesn't all wear out after, you know, like a screen printed thing tends to. So they're very high quality uh, shirts and merch that they have there. So do take a look at that if you want to pick up your own uh, ambassador polo or not really ambassador polo, but a polo shirt. shirt. Yeah, the ambassador polos are special. Um, but or jackets or hoodies, I think they have yeah, some. They've got t-shirts too now. Um, it's a... Actually, I'm going to order one of these t-shirts. I don't have any. They're items. really nice. I feel like I need to. I need to grab one. I, I've been meaning to do it for a while. And there is one more thing before we get into the rest of the agenda for today, because I know we're getting close to time but it's related to a flock announcement is that we can confirm that flock will be happening in, in Mexico next year in August, 2024. Uh, it'll be in person again, just like it was uh, this year. And we hope to have exact dates soon. The hope is to have everything announced before the end of the year. So keep an eye out for more official news and updates on that. But otherwise uh, we're hoping that we'll get to see some of you in Mexico uh, next August. Yeah, this is the first um, time we've been back to North America in um, a long time, and we've never we've had there's been FUD cons, but we've never had a flock event in uh, Mexico. So, really looking forward to this. And um, at Flock in Ireland, there were some really uh, awesome folks from the Mexico Fedora community that we are really excited to have on the ground with us for this one. So it's going to be amazing. And with that, thank you all for being here and uh, joining in for the release party today. We have our next session that is going to start here in two minutes. Uh, so we will go ahead and hop off the stage here and we will bring up the next speaker for today. Uh, otherwise, enjoy the release party and, uh, and the 20th anniversary celebration.